क्वेश्चन नंबर 56 व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैन नॉट शो फंक्शनल ग्रुप आइसोमेरिज्म दिस टाइप ऑफ फंक्शनल ग्रुप आइसोमेरिज्म इज शोन बाय ऑल दोस कंपाउंड्स व्हिच हैव सेम मॉलिक्युलर फार्मूला बट डिफरेंट फंक्शनल ग्रुप सो इफ आई टॉक अबाउट अमाइन्स देयर कैन बी थ्री टाइप ऑफ अमाइन वन डिग्री टू डिग्री एंड थ्री डिग्री एंड ऑल ऑफ दीज आर टर्म्ड एज फंक्शनल ग्रुप आइसोमर्स ऑफ ईच अदर इट मींस इफ यू हैव अ सर्टेन अमीन एंड इट इज फॉर्मिंग इट्स next isomer that is 2 degree amine that is also considered as its functional group isomer it means it is showing functional group isomerism for the aldehyde group if i talk about aldehyde aldehyde has the nature to be converted into keto group generally and on that basis it can show functional group isomerism i mark it correct here for the third one alkyl halide if i talk about alkyl halide it means in case of alkane there is the presence of some halogen group and that halogen can change its position but that is not termed as functional group isomerism that is termed as position isomerism it means this alkyl halide cannot show functional group isomerism further amines are there in case of amides once again 1 degree 2 degree 3 degree amides can be formed and those amides are termed as functional group isomers of each other that's why amides are also showing functional group isomerism and this way the correct answer becomes option 3 now question number 57 correct order of bond lengths of labeled bonds is we have this compound given here this is a quite huge compound in which three bonds are quite visible one is x that's showing the double bond for the y and z all the double bonds are here and we need to just arrange them in the correct order of their bond lengths if we talk about the first one there is x this is the double bond and if we look at this carbon that is joined with the double bond there is alpha hydrogen atoms present there are three alpha hydrogen similarly if i talk about this one there are two carbon atoms which are present alpha to it and the total alpha hydrogen atoms in this case becomes 3 plus 3 6 and three were here so total nine alpha hydrogens are present it means it can show nine hyperconjugative structures and more the number of hyperconjugative structure more would be the bond length that you should remember so in this case if i talk about there are total nine alpha hydrogen atoms in case of x that's why nine hyperconjugative structures would be formed bond length would be more further if i talk about the y in case of y there is no alpha hydrogen clearly look at this there's no alpha hydrogen available so there is no hyperconjugative structures and that's why bond length is shorter comparatively further if i talk about z in case of z there is a double bond present and this carbon is present alpha to this there is no hydrogen atom but if i talk about this carbon alpha to this there are three hydrogen atoms which can form hyperconjugative structures so for this z there are three alpha hydrogen atoms which are present and due to the presence of these three alpha hydrogen atoms it is forming three hyperconjugative structures and the bond length is more as compared to z that's why we can arrange them easily in the correct order and that order would be x is maximum then the turn for z and then here is the y which with the least bond length it is showing double bond character it has least bond length so correct answer becomes option 4 for this question question number 58 incorrect order of plus i effect is we have different options given here first you should know that what is this plus i effect you might be knowing that this is inductive effect and that inductive effect which is showing electron releasing effect are termed as plus i effect and the groups which are showing this are termed as plus i groups also if i talk about alkyl group these are plus i groups generally and as the length of alkyl chain increases its plus i nature increases so if i talk about the first option ch3 only methyl group is there and further ch3 ch2 ethyl group it is and in case of ethyl group there would be more plus i effect further there is ch3 ch2 ch2 in this case this is the propyl group and this propyl group has more plus i effect as compared to ethyl group or methyl group that's why this order is correctly given so i'll make a tick here but 
second is there is an ion and in this case you will observe that it would have more electron releasing effect because this carbon is having this negative charge it has the nature to release electron that's why it has more plus i effect this is also correctly given next one ch2 an ion nh o negative and all of these are the anions here it means all these atoms have the negative charge more the negative charge on electronegative species is stabilized it don't have the nature to release electron as much as it is shown by some electropositive atom so if i talk about carbon with negative charge it has more electron releasing nature less in case of nitrogen because electronegativity of nitrogen is more as compared to carbon that's why its plus i nature is less if it has this negative charge and further in case of o negative there is the least plus i nature this is also correctly given in the fourth option we have this carbon which is attached with three methyl groups further in this case there are two methyl groups as attached with this carbon further this is a straight chain if there is more branching there would be more plus i effect so maximum branching is here here should be the maximum plus i effect it means order should not be this it should be this but it is incorrectly given here that's why this is wrong so we can say incorrect order of plus i effect is given in option 4 and the answer is also option 4 let's take question number 59 now question number 59 correct order of stability of carbocations is we have different carbocations given here in all of these options and benzene ring is there and substituents are also present at the para position in all of these you can clearly see now carbocation is stabilized by the presence of some electron releasing group and we need to just identify that particular group which has the maximum electron releasing nature so in all of these if we compare this amino group has the maximum electron releasing nature I'll write here maximum electron releasing nature is there with this amino group after that there is a turn for this oh further after this here is ch3 it has the nature to release electron and after that here is a turn for this methyl group so this is the correct order of electron releasing nature of these groups on the basis of that this second compound is most stabilized further there would be the turn for the first compound after that third compound and then the fourth compound and this correct order is given here in option 2 and the correct answer also becomes option 2 after that let's take question number 60 here is a reaction that's given alkyne reacting with some reagent and there is the formation of cis isomer of this alkene it means we need to just identify that reagent which is doing hydrogenation but after hydrogenation there is the formation of cis isomer of the alkene we should always remember that it is hydrogen in the presence of the catalase palladium and the barium sulfate and that's why i'll choose option 3 as the correct option 